Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. At first glance, it seems that it's nothing interesting stands, especially if you take a look at the daily chart. Just a few minor sessions in the recent first three days, which is actually seems boring. Yes, indeed, they make no impact on the strategical view that we are considering in the weekend, that probably it might be some kind of this action on the gold market. But from the practical point of view on the intraday charts, there are a lot of interesting stuff. So, for example, um, if you focus on our nearest standing task, nearest standing problem, which is actually on the fall time frame chart, the shape of the hand and shoulders first and the larger hand and shoulders second. And with this, all the stuff that we discussed yesterday, uh, the nearest problem stands around this target. So we suggest that market should try to complete the COP target. 618 extension and nearest FIB level 2048. That on the next step could lead to retracement, forming of this head and shoulders first. If market will proceed higher on some bullish background, we do not know what this background could be. For example, I don't know, maybe really poor personal consumption expenditures numbers we will get. Some big relief in inflation pressure. Some all geopolitical factors, something. It doesn't matter. If market will keep going higher, we start considering this larger head and shoulders pattern. Both head and shoulders patterns are also interesting from the perspective of the failure. If this pattern will fail, that will be great bearish chance to go in with the position. If larger hand shoulders will fail, the same story. Because hand shoulders is interesting in both directions, as in the direction of the major uh, tendency, as in the direction of the failure. That's why the bottom of the right arms is always become interesting and critical for, for the pattern. But now we're still watching for action to the some kind of neckline and completion of the COP. So we know the 2048, the COP target. Here's action was relatively fast and market right now is forming some kind of the triangle consolidation, which is potentially also might be treated as a bullish. Unfortunately, performance of the other markets right now do not make the life of the gold market easier just because we do not see some drop in, in, in the yields. Recent auction for seven year bonds was relatively successful. In general, it, it has shown the market uh, results. So uh, on average, it was the same good, good demand, good yield. So in general, it was more or less success, successful. Uh, performance of the dollar, you also could see that it's going higher. So that doesn't make a relief for the gold. That's the some maybe headwinds that we have currently. At the same time, on lower time frame, I think that we could keep an eye on this pattern. The COP might be completed with a three drive that is forming on um, uh, our chart. You can see that second drive stands precisely at 127 on the first and crossing of the two extensions of the, these two drives stands relatively tight where potentially the third drive could be formed. It's really great combination. Uh, how to trade this step? So in a perfect scenario, we should get the butterfly here with these lows above this one. So market should not form a reversal swing here. This is perfectly perfect uh, scenario. In this case, uh, it should start forming butterfly and complete this three drive, which is finalized the COP. And then theoretical retracement should start and forming on the right arm should start. But for some case, if you intend to trade it, I would consider the stop placement not below these lows, but below this level because if even we will not get the precise the free drive uh, here uh, and market will complete this a b c d pattern it will not break the structure of extensions for example suggest that if market will complete this a b c d down 
you can see that levels of extensions even better matched between each other. So, other words speaking, if we will not get the butterfly, but we will get instead gorgeous tuple to buy, this will not break the overall idea on the day on the hourly chart. The placing stop too low below this area it also makes no sense just because this is confidence support and agreement with the CBCD retracement. If market will not be able to stay here and reestablish our prediction, it will definitely drop below this area. That's why it doesn't uh, make sense to place stop here. It will be enough to place it just below this level. So that's a few practical uh, tips and tricks that you probably could just think about, analyze them. Uh, that's what I see logic in the current situation. So as you could see, despite we do not have some really activity, real activity on the daily chart, on the intraday charts, it's pretty much work and interesting stuff that uh, we could discuss. And from the practical point of view, it might be uh, interesting and I would say even might be decisive in some situations. So let's keep watching and see whether gold market will be strong enough to complete this uh, bullish context.